Hey, yeah, Andrew, have, uh, have you been able to get used to, you know, most of the changes we've heard a lot of the players and, and coaches talk about, you know, some of the, you know, you're just going to have to make adjustments. Do you, do you feel like you've gotten to the point where you've got a good feel of what you're going to need to do for the rest of the season to, to stay ready and, and healthy and, and adhere to the policies at the same time? Well, you know, we're not limited to, to do what we need. Uh, trainers and strength and conditioning guys are with us all the time, doing the same work we did either spring or during the season. So uh, in that part, we're okay. And we're just uh, adjusting to this new thing that is going on. Uh, uh, the first few days was a little uncomfortable. And I think now is uh, everybody's in the same page. We're starting to have some fun in the practice in the scrimmages game. And that's, uh, that's a big thing. We, uh, we're getting uh, ready to start playing real games to start the season. And, and hopefully everything's going to be okay. Because I know not only us uh, miss being on the field and playing, uh, I know the fans do too. Ender, with uh, Freddie and Nick out, have you got some other guys, some other veterans kind of stepped forward a little bit more with leadership like yourself and some guys, or has that just kind of evolved naturally? I think it evolved naturally. Um, everybody is uh, grown up in here. Uh, even the young players step up and, and do their thing, trying to, to be mature, to be a professional. And we're all on the same page. We'll listen to whoever we got to listen and, and we, we try to do our part because this is, uh, this is all new to everybody. And uh, it depends on us to be able to, to do some type of social distancing between us sometimes because we have to, and uh, to just help each other in and off the field. Uh, I think there's a, a lot of veteran guys here. We try to help the young players and and like I said before, we, we, we're all in the same page and we're just uh, trying to get used to this as every day goes on and it's been going well. Ender, what did you do during the, the shutdown? I know guys did different things to stay ready. Uh, anything in particular you were trying to do uh, during that three month period between you know, when spring training shut down and, and last week? Well, I didn't do much. I was, uh, I have family in Orlando and I, um, I built a cage in my house. I was hitting a lot. I was, uh, I was running, I was jogging. I went out for walks, which I never did before. I, I never liked walking, I'd rather run. Uh, but I, I had to change my routine. I did a lot of things and, uh, you know, this is a, a new thing for everybody. It's, it's uh, sad, uh, everything that's been going on, but uh, we, we got to try to learn, try to get better as, as humans, as person, and just help each other. It's, uh, this, uh, it's been tough times for a lot of people, and I think the least we can do is just go out there and let people watch some games and give them some fun if, uh, if they're staying or if they have to stay at home. Andrew, we, we know how big a soccer fan you are. Is there anything you've picked up from – you know, watching what has happened, you know, as they've played over in Europe or or even talk to some of the guys down there in Orlando that are down there at the bubble. Is there anything you've gotten to feel of what you might encounter uh, as your season goes on? Well, I haven't see, uh, talked to any of uh, the soccer friends that I have. Uh, I try to see how they handle themselves in uh, on the field. But it's definitely different. It's uh, very different from what we have to do because – their teams are concentrated in the same place, especially if they're in Europe. Europe, they're in the same places and they're eating at the same time. They're hanging each other. They're doing everything together. So there's uh, definitely different from what we have to do here. But like I say, here uh, everybody is taking responsibility of what they have to do, and that's going to be key for us to to stay healthy. Hopefully. Um, the COVID is not going to reach uh, this clubhouse ever again. And, um, but we have to be ready and we have to just try to, to be responsible when we're off the field and just try to uh, respect spaces. And it's going to be challenging, uh, but I know people are adjusting well to everything here. Hey, Ender, um, in the past, how important have the – games been for you and the spring training games been for you and your preparation leading up to the regular season as there a concern level with just having these uh, these soft scrimmages to get you ready for what will be a short season 
Well, you know, I think the, these games we've been playing, everybody has put the, the energy that it needs to, to be in a, in a real game. Uh, I think it feels uh, really uh, real, like um, uh, the, the pitches, the pitchers we've seen, uh, it's, it's game ready. Um, I honestly, I feel in a good position to start the season. Uh, I even feel better than how I was feeling in, in spring training. And just looking forward to see, uh, to start the regular season. Uh, today we have a, Another game, as the days goes on, it's just start getting more real and real. Today, we have some umpires coming over, and uh, everybody's having fun. But at the same time, we're taking it serious when we're out there because we're playing against each other. But that doesn't mean, okay, because we're playing against each other, we're not going to put the same energy. No, the energy is there. And that's been a key in, uh, in uh, the workouts that we've been having here. And are you, there's not going to be any fans, obviously, in the stands tonight. There's not going to be any fans when the season starts. Um, as one of the guys I know who likes to feed off the motion of the crowd, what, what do you think that's going to be like for you to uh, to go out and try to play baseball games before empty stadiums? There's definitely going to be different. Uh, the fans are the, the, the biggest uh, factor in this game. Like, we love having the fans. That's what we feed off. And and we we're gonna miss them for sure we know they're gonna be watching from from the tv they're gonna support him as usual and a lot, we're gonna have to adjust uh, hopefully it's only uh, gonna be for a couple months hopefully maybe only this season but uh we're gonna miss them and we're gonna have to uh figure our own ways to have that adrenaline going and and play at that at 110 percent as we we've done in the past. Andrew, it's, it's kind of been your your pattern, uh, like a lot of players, to start slower in the season, geared up quicker for a 60 game season. Question. Oh yeah, I broke up a little bit there. It's uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you well. Okay, um, it's. It's a, it's been your pattern, like a lot of players, I think, to start slow and finish fast during the season. Uh, how do you kind of gear it up for a sixty-game season? Well, this date right now is second half already, so yeah. that's my mentality. I mean, I I miss playing. I'm just gonna go out there. I'm gonna have some fun, just like I was doing in the in the second half last year. I'm not gonna worry too much about what I'm doing today or tomorrow. I know stats are gonna take care of itself. I just need to go out there, help the team, and whatever uh, Snake wants me to do on the day, either uh, playing from the beginning, coming from the bench, whatever I have to do, I'll just try to do my best and try to uh, gain that playing time that I want, because everybody wants to play every day. I want to do it, and I know by just focusing on helping the team, I'm gonna, Bear my my playing time. Do you still yeah. under when you? Do you still like the outfield depth under with uh with Nick gone, but you still have four guys, and then you have a guy like Pache down there waiting. Do you still like the outfield depth that you guys have? Yeah, yeah I like it, man. We have a we have a lot of good players. Uh, uh, Nick is going to be a guy that we're always going to miss. Nick is the most consistent guy that we play with. Every day is going to give you. Uh, a solid game, either a great game or a solid game. And you always want to have a guy like that in your lineup. Uh, of course, uh, we don't know when Freeman's going to be back, but that's another key player that we that we want to have on our lineup. But the guys that we have, we know that we can do damage, that we can score runs, that we can play defense. And we just got to uh, focus and try to do our best with uh, what we have here. I know we still have a pretty good team. We have good arms. And... Uh, the lineup that's going to be put by Snit, I know uh, it's going to be the best of the day and the best that we can to win ball games. I'm curious if you're going to have to remind Ronald that there's no fans, which means we probably can hear everything he says on the uh, TV broadcast. Uh, I don't think he stops talking. Do you have to remind him kind of watch his language out there so the opposition and the fans across the world don't pick up every word he says? Well, you know, uh, there's some things that you can't limit a player to, to do. Ronald is a guy that likes to have fun. He likes to uh, enjoy his time with the players, talking, having, uh, just joking with us. He's joking with other guys. And you cannot take away that from a player. If he wants to have fun, 
let him have fun. And uh, he, I mean, he's not a kid anymore. He's, he knows that he, what he has to say, uh, anybody can listen, especially TV. Maybe we're going to have, probably have microphones everywhere. And uh, he probably got to watch what he says. But most of the things he says are just funny things that I know fans or people are going to uh, just laugh or enjoy. Is there trash talk? In baseball, obviously NBA guys talk it all the time, NFL guys, but in a normal game with fans, do you guys talk trash? Probably, yeah. So most of the time. Hey, oh. Andrew, when you said you said you were feeling better as compared to spring training, were you talking about your swing, your legs, a combination of both? Uh, yeah, a combination of both. Uh, my swing feels in a good place, and uh, my legs are getting more used to it, you know, in spring. It was the first few games I played. I was thinking maybe too much. But right now, I should just go out, play, and not worry about anything. Because if I start worrying about some things, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not going to concentrate on what I have to. I, just, I feel like I am in a good place. I just got to go out there and just help the team. Do, just have some fun. Ender, you mentioned the energy level. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me. The energy level playing just against your own guys, but you do get to see the Marlins twice before you guys really get rolling in those exhibition games. Do you look forward to just seeing different competition like that, though? Yeah, of course. Uh, we uh, we have really good arms here. I said it before. And uh, when you face guys like uh, Soroka or Freed or uh, Newcomb, Fawlty, whoever you have to face, those are pretty solid arms. Those are pretty good guys. And they're at the top. When you face another team, those are the type of arms that you're going to, to see. So I know uh, uh, we just uh, having this, uh, this is what we got right now. This is what we can do just doing these scrimmages. I know that when we start the season, we're going to be uh, ready and uh it's going to be challenging. We're going to have to face uh, the Grom in regular season, not in, not in spring training. And that's a new adjustment that we've got to do. But for sure, I know that what we're doing here, we're doing the right thing just to be as ready as we can to start the season. Franco, any questions? Any last questions, Brander? <laughs> All right, thanks, Ender. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Andrew. Thank you.